what up what up it's your boy prime chucker rob checking in on the youtube channel as i had told you i will come over here and give you some weekly numbers of what the truck generated this week and what i brought home to the business so y'all stay tuned and your boy prime chucker rob will be back at you channel as I told y'all um, please refrain from listening to the noise it's the APU slash reefer that just turned on as I told you I would come on the channel um, to tell you some weekly numbers of what um, we made this is this was actually my first week out being um, on lease the first full week and I believe we did a very tremendous tremendously good job so uh, as I told y'all I'll come over here and give you some numbers right now I'm at a um, AmeriCode and right here in uh, Ontario California I got this my old two and then got a 90 and then hopefully get a pre-plan try to get one more load in this week or two depending on where we go so um, I always told y'all I'm going to hop in here and give y'all some weekly numbers but what I'm gonna need y'all to do before I even start this video I really do appreciate y'all for getting me to a hundred and 30 subscribers but let's go higher let's go higher what i'm gonna need y'all to do is go down if you can pause the video right now you ain't got to pause it you can play it and just scroll down where it says subscribe subscribe to my channel and once you hit subscribe go on over and press the bell notification when the bell notification come up go ahead and hit all so you'll be notified when your boy prime truck around post all right let's get right into things okay so i'm gonna basically the way i'm gonna do it i wrote my thing i looked at my uh My pay stub, and um, kind of just wrote down some things of what I did. Basically, I'm gonna just tell y'all the places where we went, what the miles was, and what the trip paid, and then we'll do a total uh, adding it all together at the end to tell you what the total number was of how much the truck generated this week. And then once I do that, I'll come back and do all the deductions and tell you how much that was. And then from there, I'll tell you what I, what the business brought home. So. First load we did was the load to Lumber Bridge, North Carolina to Joplin, Missouri. It was miles was 1,120 and it paid $1,367.97. We did probably about one. We did probably about six loads this week. Um, we did one load, yeah, we did these loads this week and plus we had to come back. We went from east, west, back to east because my student had to be home to take care of his uh, CDL and everything. So. We did that lumber bridge load. Next load we did was out of Webb City, Missouri to Colton, California to that Walmart distribution center. Uh, miles was 1518 and it paid $1,653.78. Okay, third load we got was from the Fontana Drop Yard. But the load we got to pick up from the Fontana Drop Yard actually picked up in Salinas, California at a uh, produce. But... Uh, I guess somebody, another prime driver brought it from Selena to the Fontana Drop Yard. So me and my student took it from the Fontana Drop Yard to Montgomery, Illinois. That lady out there cleaning up, I'm sorry. Uh, miles on it was 1932 and it paid $3,115.93. And then from Montgomery, Illinois, we did a load from Romeoville, Illinois to Mebane, North Carolina. Miles was 769 miles, and that paid $1,707.94. Next load we did was from Tar Hill, North Carolina to Alba, Georgia, which was uh, 492 miles. It paid $1,091.61. And the last load we did before payroll cut off, which was which my dispatch was actually able to squeeze in there, which is that's that that's a good thing. And sometimes they can do that because that squeeze load can actually you know help out but it was helping out before that but it helped out anyways uh one two three four five six six load was from multi georgia at that national beat plant to salisbury north carolina to an aldi's distribution center miles was 521 
it paid $1,316.86. So if you add the miles up from everything I just said, we did a total miles. Total miles we did 6,352 miles. And then the amount the truck generated, if you add all these numbers up of what I just called out, the 13, 6797, 1615, 15, 93, 1707, 94, 1091, 61, and 1368. Chuck actually generated 10,291 dollars and X19 cents. So, um, <coughs> Chuck really generated a lot this week. Um, did a lot of miles. Uh, that's what 6,000 or something miles now. Since it was my first week, I really wanted to see myself of how the truck, what the fuel is like at 65. So this week with all this loads, I ran 65, which it, which I'm pretty sure got to kind of do. I don't know if you see, I don't know if you actually listen to those loads I named out just then, but with about hmm, about four out of six of those loads was going through mountains. So. That probably was the reason why, but I kind of wanted to see where my truck would be if I ran it at 65. So, of course, deductions, of course you have the truck payment, $1,078. Um, I have my total deductions as far as fuel, lumper, washouts, and um, et cetera things. It comes out on your uh, weekly check. So, uh, that was amount of $3,072.04. I spent a lot on field. Yes, I did. But like I said, I just wanted to see. Um, I just really wanted to see where the field and how much was I spending at a mileage rate of 65 miles an hour. But it kept saying on the little dash, I was like at 9.0 miles per gallon. But I guess I did spend a lot on field. So that's fine. Of course, my students are probably going to blame it on me saying, blah, blah, blah. I did this. I did that. But. It's a team thing. So we we did the truck at sixty five, and we ended up spending almost almost right at two thousand dollars on fuel with that. But I know a lot of people are probably gonna dog me, but it's the first video. I mean, no, not the first video. It's the first time. I just wanted to see what the truck was running at sixty five. I might slow us down to sixty two to prolong coming on. So um, yeah, with that being uh, deductions. You have the deductions of three thousand seventy-two dollars and four cents, plus the uh, truck payments, which is a thousand seventy-eight dollars, uh, which that equals a total of four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents. And plus, you know, on the leasing side, you have to pay your student. So um, my student was paid six sixty sixty-five. Of course, I did the favor. I, I just told my students. If we run hard, I'll pay you extra. So I, uh, he got his 660, but I um, took out my check to add it up to him to get his thousand. So I gave him, uh, I think it was like 400 and something dollars I had gave him. I'm trying to watch to see when this man gonna come up and get my paperwork. We've been waiting for a long time. So um, total deductions was four thousand one hundred fifty dollars and forty cents minus the 660, 65 that I gave my student. With that being, uh, you deduct the um, Ten thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars and nineteen cents minus the four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents minus the six hundred and sixty dollars and sixty-five cents. The total that was brought into that I got in my pocket that came to the business was five thousand four hundred eighty dollars and fourteen cents. So, um, still brought a lot of good money in this week, but it probably could have been more if I was watching from my field. But like I said, I really just wanted to see. The first week of how it is to run, sorry about that, how it is to run 65. So now I see that, now I'm gonna probably have to slow it down, but still get be able to get my trips to point A to point B on time, which is all right. But I believe I did pretty good. I believe I did pretty good, especially for a first week. That was my first week leasing. Um, ran everything good, good, did everything pretty good. So didn't have no trouble or anything. Dispatcher, you know, just kept me running. I really do appreciate my dispatcher. My new dispatcher is Chris Martin, by the way. Really, really very good dispatcher. Came on once I finished and uh, took my classes, age classes and all that. Uh, came out and he kept me running. I really do appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, those are basically the first numbers for the first week. Like I said, I'll come over here and probably do a weekly one. So right now for this, well, basically, 
basically that was the end of the um, August so the truck actually generated for the month of August ten thousand two hundred ninety one dollars and whatever I said 19 cents how much it was so maybe it'll be more uh, come here in September so um, basically just wanted to share those numbers with you and um, it's a lot of potential out here I know a lot of people want to come to um, Prime. A lot of people is hit me up wanting to come to Prime, but that's the thing. Y'all hit me up, but you don't actually come. You'll, you'll hit me up and say, you finna do this, you finna do that. I'll be expecting you, but I don't see you. And um, kind of bothers me. Well, it don't bother me. It's, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But just know um, those, what I just named, uh, the money and all that, that was actually the money for uh, leasing TNT. I'm a, I'm a PSD TNT trainer, but I'm in TNT right now, which I'll continue to do TNT because I love TNT. I ain't got no problem doing it, which I'll continue to do TNT. So uh, those are not the numbers for solos or solo company or solo leasing, but it's still a potential in solo leasing to make not much of that, but probably half of that. Well, let me let me rephrase that because I'm not going to dog you. So you can probably make some of that. It depends on how you run solo leasing, but solo company tell you but uh like i said really just want to name those numbers out um if y'all have any questions please don't bother to comment below uh go like i said go hit the subscribe button hit the bell and hit all you know what i'm saying this is my driver code unless you want to refer me when you do come to prime or if you have any questions here's my number call me at this number 417-660-9910 and always y'all keep trucking and y'all stay blessed whoa 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 one more thing one more thing you see this i will recommend her i think i'll probably if i don't recommend her on every last one of my youtube videos from here on out i recommend her period her name is destiny i'll leave her instagram page right here that is her instagram page y'all go here hug y'all see this do y'all see this sexy beast right here not only did she make this, put that up there, hey, put that up there in the corner. Up there uh -huh. in the corner. Put it up there in the corner oh. so I can put the other logo right here. Oh, I got a book in my nose. Hold on. What? Man. Put the put that up there in the corner so I can put can you put it up there in the corner. <laughs> put it down in the corner. Dude, you can wait a little bit minute to get this. You can let me wait a little bit minute to get this book out my nose, man. You ain't gotta be like that. I don't that. care. I do not care. Put it up there. Man. Okay. Now now put the other one right here. No, here. no, right here. Where here, my it's at. on there. There. Not where my face. <laughs> Put the. I'm going to keep playing with me. Ah, damn. Put the logo right there. It's right there. As you can see, I did come out with my own LLC, Big Boy Freight Line. It's right here. She also made this for me. So, if you guys need any logos or any illustrators like this one, for instance, I got this one for my YouTube page, and I really do appreciate her. Well, not really for my YouTube page. I plan on get some shirts made and probably a mask and some other things made off of it. But um, hit me up if you want one of those. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but my sister actually has the machine now to where she can make shirts and other stuff like that. Maybe y'all can get some business going with her. But if y'all want, if y'all ever feel like doing that, don't be afraid to hit me up or hit her up for your. Um, logo design and also an illustrator so uh cartoon design so y'all stay tuned y'all stay blessed i'll probably be back here with another youtube video showing how these shippers a uh, shipper's going out of hand without his doggone paperwork so y'all stay tuned y'all stay blessed the shipper man can come over and get my stuff so i'll talk to y'all peace